Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beer Adventurer. I'm Carissa. And I got a product review, kind of this after Christmas thing. Uh, I got this as a gift. Um, this was like a little stocking stuffer. Uh, this was bought at Walmart and they left the tag on it. It was six bucks. So this was the Cast Iron Skillet Beer Bread Baking Kit. Um, now this one was a two-fold gift for me because uh, most of my friends and family know that I like beer. They also know that I like cast iron. Um, now, I kind of almost wish that like in some of the other review videos of things that I got for Christmas, I, I'm almost thinking like the next coming year that it might be worth getting one or two of these things and reviewing them Beforehand. early before Christmas. Um, so maybe folks will know little neat gifts to get, but. Uh, right now you can put it on your list for next year. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It is legitimately a little bitty cast iron. It's very shallow. It is very shallow. I think you could cook an egg in that. I think so. That'd be great for it, cooking it. Okay, and there's just a little package of bread. It says, just add your favorite beer. Okay. It says, you will need three tablespoons of beer. Well, that's cool, because you get to drink the rest. A uh, quarter tablespoon of vegetable oil to grease the skillet. Breathe the oven to 350. Empty beer bread mix into a mixing bowl and add the beer. Uh, mix until blended. Use vegetable oil to coat the bottom of the skillet. Scoop the dough into the skillet. And spread evenly. Bake for 20 to 24 minutes. Remove skillet from oven using a mitt. Be careful because handle is hot. Um, that is super cute. I kind of like it. I think it's neat. Like that is. That's a real cast iron skillet. It says uh, the ingredients is enriched wheat flour. Um. Uh, sugar. Like it's literally dextrose. just add beer and mix and put it in the oven. Yeah, salt. Skillet care. Clean skillet with soap and water before baking. Rinse and dry off. Lightly coat skillet with vegetable oil. Wipe off paper towel. Wipe down the skillet with vegetable oil again after each use. Um, it's a little bitty uh, cast iron skillet. I mean, I fry, I've had a couple beer bread things. And I mean, they were kind of neat. They come around around Christmas time. Mm. I had one that was in like a 22 ounce bomber and it had a little uh, bottle opener. Nice. Uh, I don't remember what happened to that. I think I gave that to somebody and they made it. Uh, I had a Guinness beer bread thing and we always said we were going to make it, but we always forgot. I don't, it, had, it was in a little tin. Uh, and after like three years, I threw away the stuff that was in it and just kept a little tin. I made the Guinness cupcakes one time. Yeah. They were yummy. Um, so, let's see. Uh, the cute factor is pretty high. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Um, the fact that... Now you got a little skillet. I have a little <laughs> cast iron skillet. I want to fry an egg in it. <laughs> I, I mean, it's a little baby you make, skillet. You made little pancakes. I mean, the cute factor is really high. This has also got that I thought of you factor. Uh -huh. um, it's it's cheap. And you get a little piece of bread. Yeah, it's cute. I don't see how I would dislike it other than the fact that it's only going to make a little bread. Yeah. But it's, um, it's a great for a stocking stuffer. Yeah, for a stocking stuffer, it's pretty swell. Um, I assume sometime in the near future when we're making something else in the oven, we'll make this beer bread. Uh, but and you get to choose what flavor of bread or beer you want to use. Yeah, I mean, mainly, let's be honest, I think I'd use a stout, but it's I think so. I think really what you did was when you get this, you bought a laugh for somebody and paid. Six dollars for a uh, little cast iron skillet for your friend or yourself. Um, that is cute. I like it. Like I said, 
I'm not gonna stop the video and make beer bread and then start to make up because I don't wanna. Not right now. I wanna drink beer. Uh, but the cute factor is is absurd, and I really like it. Uh, so, uh, am I glad I got it? Yes. Uh, would I be upset if I'd have gotten two? No. no. I really think it would be neat. Um, I mean, this is in, in the beginning of January, so unfortunately, I don't know that I could, like, go to Walmart or somewhere and get another, get one. another one. They're probably all gone. Um, but I wouldn't mind. I, would, I mean... Come next year if I see one. I, I might have them again. I might grab one for my just grab one. Um, like, and I've got you know what I've got two or three buddies that like to cook too, and I think the cute factor of hey I got you a tiny little cast iron skillet might be worth it too. It's pretty cute. Yeah. So. Nice little frittatas with me. Like the tea party skillet. <laughs> but that's weight to it, you know? Yeah, you smack somebody in the head with it, they're going to feel it. <laughs> so overall, I think this one was a win too, especially at six bucks. Mm -hmm. I think so. so. Okay. So there you have it. A little short video on a little baby skillet. And, uh, and to your next beer adventure. Cheers. Cheers.